I'm Aishwarya, and I'm a research scientist on the Gemma team leading the multimodal effort. Gemma 3 expands its capabilities to include multimodality while simultaneously preserving or enhancing its performance across a broad range of textual skills such as code generation, factuality, reasoning, math, and multilingual processing. What is multimodality? We as humans naturally process information from multiple sources simultaneously. For instance, when you look at an illustrated guide, you're using your ability to understand the diagrams and pictures, as well as the accompanying text to get instructions or explanations. You combine these different modalities of information seamlessly. Multimodality in artificial intelligence refers to a similar capability. It means that AI system like Gemma 3 isn't restricted to a single type of data. Instead of only processing text or only analyzing images, a multimodal AI can understand and integrate information from multiple types of sources or modalities at the same time. Now, to really unlock its power, you need to clearly and precisely specify the task that you want it to perform. So if you give Gemma 3 an image of a complex machine, you wouldn't just show it the picture. You'd also give it a clear instruction. For example, identify all the safety labels in this image and list them, or Based on this diagram, explain the function of part x. Gemma 3 then uses its vision capability to interpret the image and its text understanding to follow your specific instructions and provide a relevant response. What's more, advanced models like Gemma 3 feature long context capabilities enabling more complex reasoning. Check out this video about Gemma's long context capability to learn how you can benefit from it. So when you combine Gemma 3's ability to understand both vision and text with its responsiveness to clear instructions and the depth afforded by long context, you get a model that can interpret intricate visual and textual information in a more nuanced way and tackle more sophisticated and multi-layered tasks. So what exactly is Gemma 3's multimodal power? At its core, Gemma 3, well, specifically the 4B, the 12B, and the 27B parameter models, isn't just limited to words on a page it has vision and language capabilities. This means it can see and analyze images. You can feed Gemma 3 an image, and it can understand what's in it, describe it, answer questions about it, identify objects, and even extract text from within the image. It can see and analyze short videos. This exciting feature allows users to interact with videos up to a few minutes in length, making it possible to identify objects or actions within a short instructional clip, gain insights from a short video advertisement, or quickly understand the content of a brief social media video. State-of-the-art understanding and generation of text. Gemma 3 excels at understanding and generating high-quality text. This is crucial for providing context to images or videos and for generating rich and descriptive outputs. Multi-turn interactions. Gemma 3 is able to have a long conversation about multi-page documents, brochures, bills, screenshots, and more by leveraging its long context abilities. So let's get specific. What can you actually do with Gemma 3's multimodal skills? The possibilities are vast, but here are a few to get your imagination firing. As an interactive textbook assistant, it can explain diagrams, answer questions about highlighted areas, quiz you on key elements, as well as summarize charts and figures. It can also serve as a museum and art gallery companion, providing information about artists, themes, historical contexts, and even translate inscriptions. For language learners, Gemma 3 can help in vocabulary building and cultural understanding by identifying objects and describing scenes in up to 140 languages. Gemma can also help nature enthusiasts by identifying unfamiliar species and translating information about local flora and fauna. And imagine all the things that Gemma 3 can help you with when you're developing your apps. For example, it could help you generate all text for all images, improving accessibility and SEO. This can save you a lot of time and enhance the user experience for visually impaired users. Or if you're a game developer, Gemma 3 could help you design a quest based on an image or a sketch of the game. And these are just some examples of what you can do with Gemma 3 models. And because they are open models, developers and researchers can build upon it, fine tune it for a specific task and drive innovation even faster. So now you may be asking yourself, how does Gemma 3 do all of this? Under the hood, there's some seriously impressive technology. 
powerful vision encoder. This allows Gemma 3 to understand the content of images and convert them into a format the language model can process. It can even handle high resolution and non-square images effectively using techniques like pan and scan. Combining multilingual and multimodal, Gemma 3's ability to work with both images and many languages is a result of its strong tokenizer and joint multimodal, multilingual training. It learns from pictures and text in lots of different languages, so it can explain things and answer questions in the language that people want to use. So whether you're a developer looking to integrate these capabilities into your next app, a researcher pushing the boundaries of AI, or just an enthusiast eager to experiment, there are resources to help you get started. I'm going to leave them in the description below, so definitely check that out. We can't wait to see what you'll build with these models. Thank you for watching. <laughs>